Hey Milliger fans, it's your garden girls here at Milliger's and we want to talk to you about our upcoming workshop. This is the um, moss turtle succulent workshop and my mom, you want to show them this one? Okay. Bing, there it is. So uh, you made this, I don't know, how many weeks ago? Oh, at least two, okay. maybe three. Two or three weeks ago. So this is the finished product. Isn't he cute? I think everyone should name their turtle. Like Tom Turtle. Tom Turtle, Tessa the Turtle, Tutty, Tootie, Tootie? <laughs> Whatever your turtle may be. Doesn't have to, I know, we, we both like alliteration quite a bit. So, uh, but uh, this is what it will look like. And the great thing about this workshop is that this is um, one of the ones that you can actually bring in to your home and overwinter it. <laughs> so, are you ready? You can just put it on a saucer or a cookie sheet or anything. And, and so many of our people had have done, that did this last year are reporting in that, um, well, that, 90% of their um, plants are still intact. And yeah, so if you did this turtle workshop, throw a photo in the comments below of what your turtle looks like right now. That would be so much fun to see. And like my mom said, uh, sometimes when you overwinter it, like, you know, maybe maybe this one didn't make it, but we always have amazing succulents here at Milliger's and you can just replace that one and then his shell is back intact. So. <laughs> We were like, oh, it's so nice and quiet in here in the workshop and, or in the greenhouse, and it is not anymore. So, uh, There's but, a lot going on here. Uh, this is what your, everyone will get this turtle. This is what it looks like. And um, it's, you know, obviously empty, but what is the first step, Garden Girl? Well, the, uh, we're going to amend our potting soil, and everyone will get a uh, pot of sand. So the well, first thing we'll do is we'll add that in and we'll just kind of mix it together. Okay. And why do we want to do that? Well, we want to change the consistency of the soil. Okay, and we want the sand in there. That's definitely changing the consistency. What's <laughs> what's that doing? <laughs> well, it's it's just better. <laughs> Well, and I we think do. it, you know, well, yeah, yeah it's what it, we do. But yeah. it helps with the drainage, right. you yes. know, because succulents don't like to have wet feet. They don't want to be sitting no. in water. Um, so it kind of lightens up the soil. Good drainage is really important. So when you come in, it, well, once you check in, what we're going to do is have you um, select your succulents. And there are seven. This is the hardest part. Seven openings. And we have probably 3,000 succulents uh, available. And there are lots the, the exciting thing is you could Aren't make they cool? a turtle with all one kind of succulent or you could have them all 70 different like a little mosaic these are all figured at 299 if you choose a plant that costs more than that then it's just an upgrade the the little string of pearls there is 349 so it's like a 50 cent upgrade i love uh this one for the tail that's so that's what we'll do okay yay so all it's right a, it's a good idea to lay out your configuration because once you insert the uh, plants it's not so easy to get them back out again and sometimes you lose some of the roots in the process so what we'll want you to do is to fill in the soil now they can always upgrade right right so if the only size you can fit in here is a 349 size. So 50 cents times seven is, is only $3.50 if, if you were to upgrade every single one, which I doubt that you'll do. So I mean, it's, we're it's working a in this minimal. Right, yeah, budget, right? It's, okay. it's very little. So we'll <clears throat> just get the- So what are you doing now? I'm uh, just getting a base going. I'm gonna slide this over here so they can okay. see. So we'll just fill this in, and don't worry if the turtle gets a little full of soil because we can We're gonna just water it. wash it off later. So now what if people love succulents, um, but they don't want to do a turtle? Well, luckily we have wonderful 
We have selections. options, right? So you can just come on Thursday night, and this would be just an a la carte option. So if you want to do a succulent container, this is absolutely one of my favorites. It's so beautiful. Um, and you can actually come tomorrow night, and we can help you put together a succulent container. So the turtle is a ton of fun, but maybe you want to do something different. This is an option. It would just be a la carte. We would just add it up as you go, picking out your container um, and your succulents. Because like you said, we have thousands of succulents right now. The whole back of the uh, specialty greenhouse is all succulents, all sorts of fun um, colorations and texture. Uh, I think it's really fun. This is a great opportunity to really play around and do um, some different succulents in there. Maybe something that you haven't tried before, um, some different colorations. Like we always talk about in our container gardening is like kind of like the four key um, Size, color, texture, yeah. shape. But what do you call those? Four key elements. Elements. Of elements of design. All right. Okay, Size, so color, this texture, is kind of shape. The way I see this laying out, and uh, we want to make sure that we like this layout. Uh, all of these are uh, what is called an Echeveria, and they are all rosettes, and so they are not going to be um, tall. I don't think the idea behind the shell of the turtle should be something that is whippy like this. I mean, I think that kind of takes away from the essence of what this turtle should look like. So we are recommending that you choose all the... So ones. it looks more like a turtle shell, right? So that we're, we're all, basically these will all fill in and become the turtle shell. So we'll start in the front, right by the neck and... Um, right up here. Uh, you want to kind of squeeze the root ball together so that it will fit in here and you slide it in all the way in. You don't do not want it to be having a long neck. You want it to be tucked in there nice yeah, and secure. Nice and flat. Okay. So that looks great. And, now what? Well then with your fingers you can just kind of fill in the soil. You do not want air pockets around that. So you fill in the soil. Kind of, kind of push the soil forward um, into the front of your turtle. And that's why it's, it's always good to work in one direction. So working from the front to the back is very easy to do. All right, so then we'll pick out, like, we have a light blue one and you can expect those to get, attain a size probably of that this summer. Now what if they, <laughs> what if they bought a turtle last year um, but they want to come back. Well, they can uh, bring your existing turtle back and for a complete redo or makeover. A complete uh, makeover, that's uh, right, we'll I love that. We'll give you, uh, off the price of the workshop, we'll give you a $15 credit. Very cool. So if you do have this turtle at home from previous years, um, you can bring him back. We can do a little, uh, like she said, a little makeover on it, um, or you can, you know, pick out complete, different, yeah. that would be a complete makeover, but maybe it's just one or two uh, that you want us to take a look at it. We can do some surgery, some repairs, uh, and really uh, bring him back to life for the summer season or her. I don't know. Well, you're doing great, mom. Oh, thanks. So you want to be sure that you squeeze this because this is too, a little bit too, too large to for these holes. So that's why it has to be wet. Otherwise the soil kind of leaves the area and we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to put this ripsalis. That is pretty cool. It's in the middle. That's, we haven't used that before. So I thought that might be kind of fun. Ripsalis, that's, um, it's, you're almost turning them into a dinosaur. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like a dinosaur name? All right. And so... Um, next to a uh, one that is quite a bit of purple in it, I'm going to use another blue one just because I think that the more contrast we can have, the better off we'll be. Well, then as it grows together, uh, I think it just really shows up better. I mean, like you said, you could do all one, but I really like the uniqueness of this because we have seen people's turtles. And again, if you have your turtle, uh, post it, a photo of it in the comments below because it's so much fun to see how it's been an entire year and see how those succulents have filled in. All and then right. you've got another coloration there, a nice uh, bright, bright green, green. That's, that's really, really pretty. pretty. And then they get to take these home. Well, this is a make it take at night because it's completely finished and- um, The weather, I mean, we're good, right? We're stable. We're stable. Now, if, if something should happen where you lose one of the little petals, 
and you can just throw it out, but you can also take it home and put it in soil and it will root in a couple weeks. So then you would get, that's the beginning of another plant. That's your little bonus take home. Well, in case, you know, anything gets too big or something, you can always start another plant. I know, I always feel bad when that happens, so it's good to know it, it can uh, it can live on, you guys. And now for my favorite part. Oh, do you want to put it in here? No. Well, this is kind of big. This is growing like crazy in here. It's got good roots. Yeah. And that one thing, and you can see what she's doing, and this is really important because it just breaks our heart after a workshop to see all of the roots in the bottom of people's containers. So making sure that you give it a good squeeze so that we're releasing um, the soil and the roots so it's staying all together intact. Obviously, the more roots that we have, the better survival uh, chances of all these plants as we're transplanting them into a new container. Yeah, last night somebody came to me at the end of the workshop and gave me a whole uh, <laughs> bunch of soil and she said, um, here's my extra dirt. And I said, well, where did that come from? And she said, well, it was in the bottom of the pot. Well, that that should have gone with your plant. had all the roots <clears throat> with it. So again, here's a few little of the uh, this little nub. If you lay this on a pot of soil, that will um, root as well. How cute! All right. So, what? How long did that take you? Thirty seconds? I don't know. This is yeah. This is a quick workshop, so you can drink uh, an extra glass. Of yes, wine. we will have wine available. Uh, what will really take you the longest is the selection of your succulents because there are so many and they um they're, they're fresh arrivals they're all new they're perfect they're beautiful um but this is your guy oh. <laughs> i was gonna warn just you about lost that. his little butt yeah. all right well you know what remember this we're gonna just stick that in there don't tip them upside down because you don't want to lose your succulent. Well, I was just, I kind of manhandled that. That, was that just rolled. Oh, here it is. Okay. Well, you know what? It looks great. This is it. Look at all the roots on it. Do um, you want to just put that back in there? Oh, <laughs> all right. Add it to the tail. Or you can start at another one in another pot True. or share with a friend. Those are fun. But that is Now what? Project. Well, Do you, um, and then they should water it when they get home. Yeah, we I don't you to have a wet not, car, but. Right, I think so. And then what's the care for this throughout the summer? Well, I think that <laughs> normally there will be enough rainfall in a given week so that you may not have to water this. But it is a rather shallow container and um, outdoors in the wind with the sun and wind combinations. Um, if you see that the... Uh, the turgidity little, yeah is not we want these to be nice and not, fleshy and squishy get, um, if they start to wrinkle or look atrophied in any way that is usually a sign of the dehydration okay because sometimes people say to me i always kill my succulents what i mean and then usually it ends up being i mean it's obviously it's a watering issue yeah usually however it is over watering so i always say when in doubt do not water and it's a little bit uh, difficult to determine the difference between something that is no longer turgid, that is no longer filled with water in these little leaves. Um, but if they have too much water, the bad part can get mushy and um, just rot. And so you need to be able to tell the difference between the two. So once in a while we'll have um, uh, where our succulents are. There are drippers from the hanging baskets overhead, and once in a while it keeps dripping on one plant, and it's that's too much what water. happens, and then, then you can pull these away and they're just rotting, and that is too much water. So um, I don't think there's gonna be much of any care for, for this plant. Look at this guy. Found him yesterday. That's rare, that's probably not, you know, don't don't count. <laughs> Not everybody can get a flower tomorrow, but I just wanted to show you that because I was pretty excited. And it's open now, but it was closed. Then it closed, closed up. up at night. Yeah. All right. Well, that's really okay. fun. Um, so that is the Moss Turtle Succulent Workshop. If you have any questions, um, you can throw it in the comments below or send me a message. I'm just gardengirl at milligers.com. Uh, but we look forward to seeing you for our final workshop. Um, that is on... 
Thursday and it's our it's our last workshop. It's gonna be so much fun. And of course there will be wine to get those creative juices flowing and we will see you soon.